In today's video, we're gonna go over some of the best Maya plugins that specialize in retopology, all developed by the same talented developers from Vertexture. You will be introduced to two of the game-changing retopo plugins, ZRail and Zspread. These two plugins are both used by various big studios such as Blizzard, Microsoft, Square Enix, Sony, and many more. The retopology process is tedious and a time-consuming task for artists. In order to simplify and optimize the topology process, you would need to manually draw each individual polygon, in addition to positions and merge vertices for a less dense poly surface. It takes hours to polish out clean retopo version, but using ZRL it takes just minutes. Which is why I believe a lot of studios are using it already. The plugin generates polygons in the shape of patches using stroke onto your high poly mesh. It projects precise polygon patches using many parameters in the plugin's UI, such as the number of subdivisions, which is great for creating optimal geometry. Also the projection distance that sets the patch either closer to the original mesh or further away. The plugin offers many options, such as the close strokes function that creates close patches for the well-structured radial loops. This is best used for eye sockets type of areas. There is also a bridge tool that simply allows easy margin between patch lines with a subdivision multiplier. In addition to a vertex merger threshold and most importantly, a relaxed brush function that averages the vertices and ensures their proper projection on the source mesh. Zrail plugin, unlike other plugins that are developed solely based on the developer's point of view, is made from about 40% of the artist's requests and feedback, fulfilling the needs of Maya users. Working with nonlinear, complex models that include lots of curvatures can also be rather troublesome. You will most likely be wasting lots of time on manipulating your edges to maintain the smoothness of your curvatures. Using Zspread, you can do that easily and you can avoid all that hassle. It is basically a plugin that spreads edges easily, and you can do that evenly, which is the most important thing here. It is a dynamic and adaptive tool that does its best to preserve, if not enhance, the curvature of your mesh. This plugin is best used in conjunction with Maya Edge Loop tool, more specifically, the Edge Flow function to smooth your curves and even out your edges. We also have additional plugins from the same developers, such as ZCut plugin. It upgrades all Maya's basic vertex and edge tools, such as splitting edges, margin vertices, extruding, and much more. It gives you as an artist free and more intuitive ways of maneuvering the retopo process. Also we have a ZWireframe plugin that takes control over the wireframe mode. It highlights the retopo low poly mesh and separates it from the source which is the high poly. This is good because you don't want to mistakenly overlap the models. ZWireframe offers many features to tweak, including the colors of the surfaces, edges, vertices, and backface. Also, you can add a surface alpha slider, in addition to edge width, vertice size, and most importantly, a depth priority slider to visualize the accuracy of your topologized model compared to the high poly one. There is also a plugin that is called Z Constraint that gives my users the ability to constrain source models' vertices onto the target model. In other words, it modifies the source mesh's geometry to fit the targets. It can also snap and generate a polygon surface and you can do that along nerves. The snapping accuracy varies using a threshold slider. Z Constraint plugin also includes Z wireframe for its importance when it comes to visualization. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.